A baseball team plays in a stadium that holds 56,000 spectators. With the ticket price at $11, the average attendance has been 23,000. When the ticket price dropped to $9, the average attendance rose to 28,000. Assume that attendance is linearly related to ticket price. What ticket price would maximize revenue and what is the maximum revenue? Recall revenue is equal to price times quantity, where in our case, the quantity would be the attendance. And because we know it's linear, we can say Q of P is equal to MP plus B, where M is the slope and B is the vertical or y-intercept. To begin, we know when the ticket price was $11, the average attendance was 23,000, which gives us the ordered pair 11 comma 23,000, meaning when P is 11, Q of P is 23,000. And we know when the price dropped to $9 per ticket, the attendance rose to 28,000, which gives us a second ordered pair of nine comma 28,000. And now we need to work on determining our quantity function Q of P. Because we know it's linear, we can now find the slope where the slope M is equal to the change in attendance divided by the change in the price. The change in attendance is 28,000 minus 23,000 and then divided by the change in price, which is nine minus 11. Simplifying, we have 5,000 divided by negative two, which is negative 2,500. So now we know Q of P is equal to negative 2,500 P plus B. We still need to determine B, the vertical or y-intercept, by using one of the ordered pairs. Let's use the first order pair of 11 comma 23,000 and substitute 23,000 for Q of P and 11 for P. This gives us 23,000 is equal to negative 2,500 times 11 plus B, giving us 23,000 equals negative 27,500 plus B. Adding 27,500 to both sides, we have B equals 50,500. So now we know our quantity function, Q of P is equal to negative 2,500 P plus 50,500. Now that we have Q of P, we can determine our revenue function. The revenue function R of P is equal to the price P times the quantity sold or the attendance given by Q of P, which we now know is equal to negative 2,500 P plus 50,500. Let's go ahead and distribute the P. We have our revenue function R of P is equal to negative 2,500 P squared plus 50,500 P. And now to determine the maximum revenue, we'll determine the critical numbers, which is where the first derivative is equal to zero or undefined. So for the next step, we need to determine R prime of P. R prime of P is equal to the derivative of negative 2,500 P squared plus 50,500 P, which is negative 5,000 P plus 50,500. The derivative is never undefined, and therefore we determine the critical numbers by determining where the derivative is equal to zero. So we set it equal to zero and solve for P. Notice here we have a simple linear equation. Let's go ahead and add 5,000 P to both sides, which gives us 50,500 is equal to 5,000 P. Dividing both sides by 5,000 to solve for P. Simplifying, we have P is equal to 10.1, which represents $10.10. But we should verify this is the value of P that maximizes the revenue, not minimizes the revenue, by applying the second derivative test and making sure that the revenue function is concave down at this value of P. We should recognize R of P as a quadratic function where the leading coefficient is negative, and therefore it is concave down. But to verify this using the second derivative test, we would determine R double prime of P which is equal to the derivative of the first derivative, or the derivative of negative 5,000p plus 50,500, which is negative 5,000. Notice for every value of p, the second derivative is negative, indicating the function is always concave down 
and therefore we do have maximum revenue at the critical number p equals 10.1. So let's go ahead and answer the first question. The ticket price of $10.10 will maximize the revenue. To answer the second question, to find the maximum revenue, we need to determine R of 10.1, or substitute P equals 10.1, into the revenue function. Let's do this on the next slide. R of 10.1 is equal to negative 2,500 times the square of 10.1 plus 50,500 times 10.1. R of 10.1 is equal to 255,025, which is the maximum revenue when the price is $10.10. I hope you found this helpful.